Mike check one two one two. Well, coach, you battled hard in this one. You got special teams to contribute on all three goals, but uh, ultimately, how do you recap this one that just came up a little bit short in the shootout loss to Texas? Yeah, and it's, it seems to be. Uh, I think we need to practice more shootouts. The so guys will like that because everybody likes to work on their penalty shots. Yeah, we battled hard. I, I'm happy with the way we performed for three periods. The guys stayed with it, whether we were uh, down a goal or up a goal. We just went about our business. Hey. Sometimes you, you take a good team into overtime, you can't get it done, then shoot out, you know they got some firepower. So, But I was happy with our way we played. Power play had been a little quiet over the last handful of games. How happy were you to see them contribute? The Lewis goal, Dylan Secura after a big save by Lonkinen, so it seemed like the Ice Sox fed off that momentum. Yeah, it's obviously it's nice for the power play to get a goal in that, but the big thing with the power play score and the guys that score the goals start feeling good about they maybe get their touch back a little bit more, and then that will transfer on to five-on-five -five hockey. So we'll see. We're right back at it. And Nathan Knoll, a highlight reel goal, cut into the middle shorthanded. It's his second of the year, but probably one of the more prettier ones you've seen this season. Yeah, that's why we had to get him off the ice right away because I think he decided he may be able to play hockey. But, no, that's good. He made a nice move. It's stuff we work on in practice. So I, now I can give it to him about, you know, I know what I'm talking about when I tell you to do these moves. But no, good, good, solid effort by him. I think he surprised the goalie, but SP for sure. On the other side, the Ice Dogs, a very physical team. Andreas Martinson, a physical presence, Nick Mucher, everybody playing a physical game. Is that something that you're liking to see more of moving through this road trip? Well, I think you can always, you always like to see physicality a little more. I, I think the big thing is just getting through hands and sticks and uh, canceling out bodies. It's not as much as running guys over and trying to hurt them or anything. It's just being, being hard on guys, and, and I thought we did a good job with that. And now moving forward, you got San Antonio tomorrow, a team that uh, last time we checked, they're looking to sneak up on you in the rearview mirror in terms of standings. How important are these next couple games? Well, they're huge. It's playoff hockey. This is what it is. And, you know, when you're battling division teams, uh, everybody's pretty tight. You could win two or three in a row and you're in first place. And you know, like we talked about before, you lose a couple and you're in last. So these are big points. It's, it's going to be a playoff, playoff hockey for us tomorrow. And it impacts the Ice Hogs, but a trade announced by the Chicago Blackhawks earlier today. You saw Jan Ruda departing the organization. He's going to Tampa, and it looks like the Blackhawks see some pieces coming the other way. But you have a pretty banged up blue line. Ruda was a part of that. How much does that hit you on the on uh, adjusting your blue liners? Well, it hurts a little bit, and then uh, Thule out too. But uh, you know, we got a couple guys up: Manning, McCardo from uh, the East Coast League, and, and they fit in fine. So I'm not too worried about it. It gives an opportunity for those guys to get some ice time and show us what the, what they have.